Hi, my name is Rebecca and welcome to Yarn and Pajamas. Today is crochet podcast number 64. So before I get into all of the crochet goodness that I've been working on, I want to say Happy New Year's Eve, everybody. Today is December 31st, 2022. It's the last day in the year and it is also my second anniversary. It's my podiversary. Um, my channel turns two today and I'm so excited and so happy that today is my podiversary. Yay! So, I have some changes coming with the channel in um, 2023. Um, not a big change, just I'm moving the date of my podcast to Saturday. So, it's moving from Tuesday to Saturday. And today is Saturday, so today is the first day that I'm doing a Saturday podcast. It's just going to give me so much more time to be able to film the video, to do the edits, and to get it uploaded versus doing it on a weekday because on a weekday, I go to work. I work until um, 4, usually get home around 4.30ish, and then I've got, you know, to cook dinner, got chores, got to get the dogs out, and get all of that done and then the editing process is sometimes a little, you know short sometimes long but sometimes that uploading process can take forever so this is just going to give me so much more time to be able to get it done and get it out there because on Saturdays I'm generally free most of the day so that's really the only change to my channel this year um hopefully I will be able to have um more content for you guys and not skip so many podcasts but okay we'll do some chit chat at the end of the video but for those that are just here for the crochet we'll go ahead and get into that so I was off um five days at Christmas and I did get quite a bit of crocheting done I feel like I did um however I was um not feeling the best two of those days so um I didn't really crochet very much those days. But what I did get done was I got another um, pot holder done for my sister. And um, this is a free pattern. It's by Sarah Satch at Posh Pooch Designs. And it is called the Triple Thick Pot Holder, I believe. So what it is, is three um, like closed in granny squares just um, sewn together or like crocheted together around the edges. And these bad boys are awesome. I had some made for me by Summer, my friend. She sent them to me last year or this year at Easter. And I absolutely love them. So now I've made a set for my sister. So I'm gonna get these out in the mail to her for her to use because I know that she will love these as well. And I had enough yarn left over from the blue. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys the colors. So this is a Crafter Secret from Hobby Lobby yarn. And the blue variegated is called denim. This one right here is it's called navy. And you know, the back is just denim. So I did have enough of the denim left over to do one more just square. So I thought, you know, I could like the ones that I have just enough, I can maybe get three done like this and just sew them together and they not match or whatever and it would just be for me. So, and I used a five millimeter hook, which I think is an H and these are the perfect size. And let me tell you, when you pick up a pan with these things, you do not feel any heat whatsoever coming through there. And because I love these. I wanted some my own, so I made myself two. So I didn't have enough to do like a like one with like this color and with this color on the inside, but I did have enough to make three um, squares in this color and three squares in this color, so I just rotated it. So this is also a Crafter Secret yarn. This one right here is called, I think, Grass Green. And then this one's called Yellow Speckle. 
So one thing I did do, I don't know if you guys can see, but on the inside of this, I didn't have enough of the navy to make a complete um, square, but I made what I could and then I just bordered it in this green right here and um, finished it off and made like, it's almost like a faux green square. But you know, I didn't want to have any like scraps. So here's this one and I did not have any of the speckled yellow left over. So I had to use just a random um, like teal yarn. I don't even think it didn't have a ball band. That was just like a little ball of it. Scrap downstairs and I used it and got myself a set. So now I can go put these in the kitchen and get these to use. I've been holding them back so that I can show you guys. Drinking me some water today. So that's all of the finished objects I got finished. Um, but I have been working on something else. So I'm getting prepared for um, my um, nieces and nephews birthday boxes for the year. I want to get them to them early. Um, could you guys hold on just a second so that I can um, go blow my nose? It is starting to run. Okay, guys, sorry about that. Thank you so much for letting me go blow my nose. Um, it's getting warm up here, and I think my nose is starting to run. So, like I said, I have been trying to get um, a head start on the birthday boxes. So, my first birthday box will go out in February. So, I have already started buying some stuff up. I've showed you guys some of the stuff that I've gotten. And um, I started making her a mushroom bag. So this bag is a paid for pattern. It's on Etsy and I believe the name of it is Marsha's Mushroom Bag. I'll put the name of the store in up here. I forgot to look at it. But I have been using um, up some of that cotton that I bought in my Hobby Lobby haul. And I've got the mushroom top made for the bag. So I've got it done. I've also got the bag itself done here and there's some stuff inside of it oops i've got the little uh, strap done Ooh, it's pretty long hoping it'll be like you know like crossbody type but got that done i've seen a hair my hair is forever in the stuff I had some little extra mushroom dots left over. I just made some in different sizes. I believe in hers, the picture that she has, she used just the big ones. I made like some little ones as well. So I'm keeping those just in case I decide to sew more on. And then I also have the drawstring that goes around the top of the bag finished. And there is another hair. So, I have done some extra bits to this. Um, one of the extra things i done was I made um, crocheted a liner for the inside of the mushroom cap. So, i done exactly the, the top of the mushroom, except for, let's say, one, two, three, four, five, six, let's see. Six, seven, eight. I went eight rounds. And that's all you really need to go. And then it fit exactly inside and I just sewed it in. So it has added a little bit of weight to the top of the mushroom. But it hides the the white bits, the sewy bits. Plus it gives it like a little bit more um, definition. Like it holds its shape a lot better than it was before. I think the cotton yarn was just too soft and didn't have enough body to it, I guess, to hold its shape. But I love the way that cotton feels and I just, I thought it was so, would be so pretty. So yeah, so I've got that with the liner on the inside. I did put like little dabs of glue to the top of it here, just so that it wouldn't like fall down. Another thing I made was an insert to go into the bottom. This was just something that I done on my own. It's not part of the pattern. Like this isn't part of the pattern as well. So what I done 
was I just um, started doing just a basic, like, amigurumi circle. Like, I didn't, um, I just, you know, kept going bigger. I think I went, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So, I went thirteen rounds, and it seemed at the time to be what was fitting. So, one side is white and one side is red. So, I thought it would be like she could decide which side she wanted. I done the edging in red. And on the inside of this, I put, it's like a little piece of cardboard. It's like really thin. It's like, um, it comes inside of, like when you buy those massive packs of pop, like the 12 cans, like the case of pop that insert that comes in between the two labels. That's what I used and cut it out. So I'll show you guys. So I did like lay this stuff, like I laid the circle down inside and I laid the um, rings down inside and I made it to be smaller than um, the inside of this thing because I knew I would have that edging around the um, side. So when I do it, it does this like buckled out effect and I don't know if that's because um like it has that support there but I mean it fits perfectly on the bottom of it but it's just like it it sinks in here so I don't know if that will fix with the next part that I'm going to do but I am going to try to figure out how to sew a liner to put on the inside of it so that, you know, her stuff does not fall through um, her bag. So that's gonna be the next thing that I work on. And one of the other things that I did different was on her um, strap. She does um, six single crochets back and forth, going, you know, to the length you want. And I just chained, I think it was like a hundred and be like 51 I think is what I chained and I done three rows of just back and forth um single crochet to make my um cord I don't like doing like the the back and forth like that I feel like it's just turning too many times so I went with this now I am going to do a mock I'm going to try so this will be a work in progress and hopefully I'll have it done before next week but I bought some ribbon and I'm going to try to sew like a ribbon backing to the strap to make the strap like sturdier because I thought the top is some added weight, the liner is some added weight, and then, you know, what she uses inside of the bag will be added weight and, you know, yarn stretches. And whereas um, cotton yarn doesn't stretch as bad, um, this, I love this cotton, does have a good stretch to it. So I thought it would be nice to maybe try to put a backing on it. I'm going to try. I don't know. I'm not a sewer. I'm not anything good like that. So I'm just going to try. It's an experiment and we'll see what happens. And if it does not work out, then I'll just have to make another strap. Um, I do have one part left to crochet, but I can't crochet it yet. And it is um, the top. Oh, I did do something different on this. So she used double crochets on this and I used half double crochets. So to put the drawstring through, I'm gonna add one more row at the top here of the double um, crochet so that the drawstring will have like a plenty of room to go through. But I can't add that until I do the liner. So I gotta get that liner done. So I showed you the drawstring. So I did use a, a 4.5 millimeter hook. I believe she called for a five millimeter hook, but I could not find one beside of me when I started. So I just got the closest to it and I used a 4.5. And I think that it's turned out a pretty good size. Mm, and I used Hobby Lobby's I Love This Cotton in um, red. It's just called red, and this one's called ivory. I did have to purchase another ivory, so I had plenty to do the, the red, and I probably would have had enough 
ivory probably not because i still have to do the round across the top and to start this i think i you know got like maybe like four or five increases and had to add a new skein so keep that in mind keep that in mind but i also did have the extra um bits in here the extra spots so that could have maybe played into it so that is what I have really spent a lot of time on is this right here I want it to be like super super sturdy I guess is what I want it to be this will be kind of like what it looks like when it's done <laughs> um I want it to be kind of super sturdy so that it's very usable for her I guess that's what I'm trying to say so that's what I have spent the majority of my time working on is that. So I do have um, some fabric to show you guys. So this will be acquisitions. I did not open it. So sorry about all these crinkles. So I got on Etsy. I was looking for some fabric to use to... Um, line my bag with and I wanted um some mushroom fabric and I looked at Amazon I just couldn't find anything that was cute and uh, fabric on Amazon is outrageous so I got on Etsy I found a fat quarter of this cute little yarn here yarn fabric here so this is what I'm going to try to make a liner out of. Now I did at Joann's yesterday buy a, just a regular, just a plain colored ivory fat quarter to practice on before I used the good fabric. Yes. Um, so that is hopefully what's going to be on the inside of this you guys think it'll be cute i hope it will be i hope i manage to get this figured out that i can put a liner in it i'm not a sewer um so yeah but that was that okay i think that's all like the like yarny stuff that i've been doing i do have some show and tell it's from delon and um delon has been um her wrist has been under the weather and she's been resting and recovering with her wrist and she is good to go now she's been crocheting and um, i'm going to pop in a picture here of what she's been working on and she says that this is the victorian braids blanket by bag all day and she's using a one, Karen one pound in deep violet and a six millimeter hook. And uh, that's one of her little furry babies laying there. Uh, probably a cat. I can't really tell. I mean, cause some dogs have long tails like that. I don't know. The lawn will have to let us know if it's a cat baby or a dog baby. So that's a pretty color. I really like that purple. So thank you, Delon, for sharing um, what you've been working on with us. And um, I can't wait to see the finished product. She did say that she was working on some other stuff, um, but she'd already gave them away before she got pictures. So she has been busy again. So thank you very much, Delon, for sharing with us. And I think that that is all that I have for you guys today, except for one thing. Because today is my podiversary. I am turned two. See, I painted a number two to put down in my yarn. Um, I have a small giveaway of appreciation just for, you know, hanging out with me and sticking through with me. And there's going to be two winners because um, Yarn and Pajamas turns two. And I have made some stitch markers to give away. So I have two sets here. And they're just a bunch of different ones. And they're pretty much basically the same. 
except for the colors are just different. So there are, you know, um, look at this. There's a cute little owl. We've got some little, you know, furry things. There's some seashells in here. There's like a, a matte colored seashell and then like a, there it was. I don't know where it went. It's like a shiny seashell. Let's see, can we get it? There it is. And then there's like some hearts for Valentine's Day. Oh, there's a black cat. That would be for uh, Halloween. There's a little Christmas bobble. There's just all kinds of different ones. So there's one, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, there's 12. I'll look at this one. It's a little hamburger. And the other one is French fries. <laughs> um, but there's 12 stitch markers on each ring. And I will be drawing two winners from this. So all you have to do to enter is just leave a comment down below. It doesn't have to say anything specific. Just leave the comment and I will pick a winner um, next Saturday, which is, let me grab my hand of the calendar here. Got me a new calendar for the new year. So the first Saturday in January will be the 7th. So on the 7th, I will draw a winner and well, I will draw two winners and I'll get these sent out in the mail to the winners. So I wanna thank everybody for um, hanging out with me, for, um, you know, just making me happy, for leaving those comments, for, um, you know, just sharing your lives with me. Um, I made um, tons of new friends these past two years. Um, it's just been, it's been great. I've loved every minute of it and I look forward um, to the coming year. So I'm going to let you guys go. I hope you have a rocking New Year's Eve. Um, stay safe and stay happy and stay warm and just know that I love you guys and I will see you guys next year. Bye.